Today on Draw TV, I'm drawing the original Captain Marvel. So grab your paper and pencil. It's time for Draw TV. Shazam! Ever since the early 1970s, I have absolutely adored Captain Marvel. I've watched him on television, in cartoons, and read his comics. The coolest thing about him was he was a little boy who would turn into a grown man and defend other children. I just thought, always thought that was cool. And uh, I love drawing it, and so today I'm going to draw the original Captain Marvel. On CBS, the Shazam TV show was focused more on morals and pretty decent storytelling. A friend of mine recently gave me a copy of the whole series, and I look back at it with love and nostalgia, and it's still fun to watch. My daughter, who's 10, she's watching it and she's enjoying it too. The morals and the lessons taught it within the show itself still apply to this day and still are needed. Uh, and it would be great if they had something like this for kids nowadays. One Saturday morning, I was watching Shazam and my dad came to me and he said, let's go. And I didn't know what he was talking about. And he said, let's go, let's go. So in the middle of an episode, I had to hurry up and get my little blue jeans on and little red tennis shoes on and out the door we went. I barely had time to put on my t-shirt. We rode to Nashville, Tennessee to a car show. And at this car show, there was a fella dressed like Captain Marvel standing at the door. I was five years old and I suddenly forgot how to walk and how to talk. It was very embarrassing for my dad. But it was so cool that my dad thought enough to take me to this car show to meet Captain Marvel. I got an autographed picture. It's long gone now. I don't know where it went. But uh, it was one of the highlights of growing up. The show ran on and off up uh, till 1980, on and off, I believe. And um, in 1981, it came back in the form of a cartoon. The cartoon was on the Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam on NBC. And it was more like the comic books where you had Dr. Savannah, Mr. Adam, Black Adam. These villains that were in the comics were now in the cartoon. And a lot of these uh, stories were really well done for a kids animated show. As time went on, I discovered the 1940s Captain Marvel, the Adventures of Captain Marvel serial, and this completely blew me away. It was another take on Billy um, and Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel was more uh, adventuresome and, and grim and dark and mysterious, and I thought this was very good. I personally, this is my my favorite movie serial for several reasons. Um, it was done uh, from Republic, so the stunts and the filming and, and special effects were top-notch. But also, I liked it because it's Captain Marvel, and he would yell Shazam! I mean, that just sold me there. But uh, I've seen it several times now, and I really do enjoy it. Over time, I studied more about how the books were done and what uh, C.C. Beck had said about drawing, you know, keep it simple. And I followed this rule occasionally and on this drawing of Captain Marvel I'm not really following the rule of keeping it simple obviously I actually got to talk via mail to Kurt Schaffenberger and he had done some Captain Marvel art and a real nice guy and he passed away sadly but it was cool to actually get to talk to someone even if it was by mail who had actually worked on Captain Marvel after I got married, the, the comic book Power of Shazam came out, and I collected all but one issue. And I will find that issue eventually in junk bins, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I even wrote them when I found out the series was ending, and I asked, could I draw just one panel? One panel, let me draw one panel. And they said, they've already got the book done, and anyway, this guy who's doing it is really, really good. So it was fun to dream for just a minute. As you see here, we're almost done with the artwork. Right now, they're talking about a brand new Captain Marvel movie. Well, actually Shazam, which is the wizard who gave Billy his powers to become Captain Marvel, 
it's an old muddled mess, but I'm still going to see it because I love Captain Marvel. If you get a chance to pick up some uh, Shazam TV series, the Shazam cartoons, the comics, anything like that, check them out. They're fun for the whole family. They're clean. And it's Captain Marvel. You can't go wrong with it. So until next time, we'll see you on Draw TV. Good night.